Hi, I'm Dr. Vince Balanzi. I'm going to talk about ADD today. You think you're going to have trouble seeing this video through? It's only going to be five or ten minutes. If you say yes, then you probably have a little bit of ADD. We all do. It's, it's a very common thing. Really, in many cases, it's just an observed behavior, if not all cases. ADD can be treated in many ways or can be actually improved upon or even resolved in many ways. A lot of times, attention deficit does come from just learning new techniques on, on how to concentrate, on how to behave. It's, it is a behavioral type of situation, and you can do something about it. A lot of times, the health of your body makes a difference, right? So medication is often used. In fact, stimulant medications have been found to be effective because we believe that, uh, it, believe it or not, ADD used to be called minimal brain syndrome. This is only back in the year 2000. But they, they really misunderstood what was going on with ADD. And they found that there was slow brain activity as they could measure it. And that's why they originally called it that. But they found that stimulant medication really did help people with ADD. But I think there's a lot of other ways to go about things. If you get the body healthy, you're going to see a difference. And there's a number of supplements that have been, been found to be very effective with attention deficit. You can use something called choline, and anybody's going to see some improvement improvement in brain function. Choline is important for the brain to function, especially in the form of what's called glycerophosphocholine. You can find it at any nutrition store. We, we have it in our clinic. It's called GPC. It's been found to be very effective in the, in the liquid form. But choline, you, you can eat sardines to get some choline, and you can in, enhance your brain function. We know that a good intake of vitamins and minerals is going to be helpful in allowing the body and the brain to function, and that can have quite an effect on ADD. It's well established that essential fats help brain function and do improve the attention deficit situation. There's phosphatidylserine. There are other amino acid derivatives and other fat derivatives that we can use. Basically, you can do some testing on neurotransmitter levels and amino acid levels and really target a therapy that's just based on, on natural nutrients. Uh, amino acids, commonly we test that in the plasma level or the levels in the plasma. And we find that if we give amino acids in the free form, we can balance those levels out. And that really helps emotional and, and mood type disorders. And it does have quite a good impact on ADD. So again, there's other approaches to correcting something like attention deficit disorder. You don't just have to go to a drug. And, and unfortunately, to some extent, the drugs are abused, right? It's been reported that many college students are using the attention deficit drugs, Ritalin, Adderall, some of them are like meth, are, are actually methamphetamines, and college students are getting these drugs legally through prescription and using them to kind of make up for poor study habits. Not in every case, but in a lot of cases, it's just easier to drop the pill, study a short time, cram it in, get the test done, and it's it's one way to go about it. It's not really the way the learning institutions want it to happen, but the drugs are abused and they can be abused, and and we want to do something to not have to use them in every case. So again, there's a lot you can do. Exercise makes a huge difference in how your brain works. We know that when you're sympathetic dominant, when your brain's turned on, you can't turn it off. It's real hard to stay focused and, and learn, and, and we, we can really describe almost an ADD situation because of lack of act, physical activity. You get people active again, they get a, a reflex response into the parasympathetic, and that can help immensely with attention deficit. So we. In our clinic, we, we do some testing to figure out what the approach would be most effective or what approach would be most effective. But the, the answer to ADD and ADHD is not necessarily getting on a drug and staying on a drug. It may be a, a good short-term fix. It may not be good at all. But remember that there is always another way to take. There's always another path, and I believe in many cases better paths. I'd much rather give people nutrients and bring their body into balance than pushing their brain to speed up and allow them to focus and learn. Again, there are certain cases where it may be the best answer, but I would say in a lot of cases where the drugs are used, it's maybe not necessary and perhaps even harmful. So this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. If you're having mental emotional problems, if you have ADD, first look at your health. First look at getting good fruits and vegetables in, getting good physical activity. It'll make a big impact, and you may not need to go get the prescription drug. So find ways to live healthy. Find ways to live happy. It's about quality. It's about life. We'll see you soon.